Master volume, those are your main bigger tubes, and I've got it right on two. There's a very thin line between not enough and, and too much. Tube amps aren't as intuitive as you might think, especially if you're first starting out. So if you're a seasoned pro, leave me a comment and let me know what your secret is to dialing in a tube amp. If you're just getting started, then this video is for you. <laughs> talk about a few of the basics of how to dial in a good sound because nothing's more frustrating than dropping five six hundred dollars on an entry-level tube amp and then getting it home and you're like eh, that's not what I thought it would be so uh, I've got a fender strap here American professional tube and let's take a look at this is a blues junior it's a 15 watt it's a great starter amp for home use and it's pretty loud for for gigs now a lot of people complain about this they say it's too bright uh, they say it's too loud for their house uh, you get it up past two and it kind of rattles the walls and so let's talk about how to use this in a home setting how to dial in the sound that you want so i'm just going straight in uh, and that's another thing if you have pedals then maybe the first thing you want to do is plug them in, see how it sounds. But I would say wait a little while and first get used to your amp, how it is just plugging straight in and don't just go all out with the pedals immediately. Um, you need to learn the nuances of the controls that are already on the amp and find out you know, maybe you don't need as many pedals as, as you thought. So let's take a look here uh, on Blues Junior. You've got a volume, you've got a treble bass middle and a master, a volume and a master. That's something you find on a lot of tube amps. Why are there both of them? Why <laughs> did they do that? Why is one called master, one called a volume? Um, then this one has a reverb here. And so we also got a fat switch that's gonna add a little bit to your, your mids uh, on some of these Fender amps. That's it used to be, I think a lot of them had a bright switch and now, now they have a fat switch. So I guess our preferences are are changing but anyway the volume that uh, kind of sets your preamp gain so if you look on the back of it you've got some small tubes and you've got some big tubes and uh, this one i think does the small ones you can leave me a comment if i'm wrong here uh, but this is your preamp so if you really want uh, a distorted sound at a lower volume Crank this all the way to 12, and you can see it gives you more distortion. Now, the thing about uh, these amps, I think the reverb, the louder you have it, uh, the worse it sounds. Uh, so if you're really rattling the walls and it's really loud and rocking, you probably don't need any reverb at all because you get the natural reverb of the room. Uh, but if for a low volume, I really like it all the way up, but this is your pre amp gain. And so think of this more like your gain. Um, and what I have now, this is optimized, I think for a strat at bedroom levels, I can play this in my basement and I won't wake up the house. And that's something I've been looking for for a long time is how to get a good sound that I can play without headphones uh, in the basement while everybody else is asleep when you know I have a real job and <laughs> uh, work all the time and you know get to play a couple hours after everyone's gone to sleep. So this won't wake up anyone with the levels that I have it right now. And you can see it, uh, it has a little bit of bite to it if I want more bite. And this is a really good sound. Now, the master volume, those are your main bigger tubes. 
and I've got it right on two. And really, <laughs> there's a very thin line between not enough and, and too much. And so uh, for bedroom levels, just barely turn it in. Now, if I go up to three, it, that's almost as loud as the amp will get really right there. And what, what you have with your main uh, tubes here, it, if, you, if you're wanting to play loud, if you're wanting to really rock out the house, then bring the volume down, bring this up, and let your drive come from this. So, uh, I, I prefer the overdrive sound that comes from the mains here, the main tubes. Uh, it's just, uh, it's, a, it's a different quality. You can play around with it, and that's one thing you need to, to do is turn all the knobs and really experiment and know what each thing does and and get comfortable with it but if you turn this up and then use the volume as an actual volume you, you get a different sound and again i don't like the reverb when it's when it's louder like this and you can you can probably hear the reverb in the room now because it's louder I'm making this video i uh, had a day off and so the kids are uh, at, at school right now and you see if if i crank this master even more if i go all the way then i come in with a little more volume <laughs> and it's it's shaking my phone off the stand here somewhere in the middle uh, I can get more distortion over here to do it now you will find what you like after you've experimented with the overdrive of the amp itself you may discover yeah I need uh, a, a pedal overdrive to get what, I, what I'm really looking for but try out what you have there I I don't feel like I need anything now the EQ is different for each guitar so if you have never really used the tone and the volume knobs on your guitar, the tube amp really, uh, really opens up. Now, remember, if I crank it, and we got that 60 second long go to the fourth position, if I turn down the, the volume, then it's clean. to do is turn the volume up and it's it's dirty again. 
again. So it's the same setting. some of the brightness of this amp since it doesn't have a presence knob uh, you can you know use your, your tone control really if you don't like the EQ that's coming out of it get an EQ pedal and uh, you can experiment with that and they say speakers over time the more you play them loud they uh, will change a little bit they'll get broken in how much they change is kind of uh, up for debate but Anyway, if it's brand new, uh, play it loud <laughs> as much as you can. It will break it in a little bit and change, soften a tiny bit of the brightness. Um, just remember, your EQ is going to be different on every guitar. So for for my Jazzmaster over here, it's a little brighter than normal. So I bring the treble all the way down and I bring the mids all the way up. And I found that works pretty well on this setting right here, I really like for my jazz master and also uh, for for playing jazz on my uh, semi hollow as well. I think it has a good sound. So don't be afraid to turn these knobs all the way up. This, the way I understand it on this Blues Junior, they are passive. So what that means is they're only taking signal away. They're not adding to it. So if you're just going straight up, that's just half of, of what it, it, it can do. And, you know, you're not going to ruin anything to go all the way on really on any of the knobs. Uh, so if you if you go all the way and then you have something else pushing it uh, in a pedal, some kind of boost, then you might start to break something. But <laughs> if uh, if you're just running straight through the amp itself with no active pickups, then uh, you should be fine to to go all the way on pretty much any of them. So uh, experiment with that, find what you like. Uh, but for me, for the Jazz Master, this, this is a setting and for, for playing jazz on a semi hollow as well. For the Strat, uh, I like it a little more even, uh, rounds it off, I think a little bit there. So there you go. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 